I'm going to show you a bunch of underrated Vencord plugins to improve your Discord experience. Well, actually, some of them are kind of silly, but you'll see what I mean. So if you haven't already, download Vencord using the link in the description. Now, just so we're super clear, this is against Discord's terms of service, but no one from my knowledge has been banned for using Vencord. If that's okay with you, download the installer and open up the installer and click on Stable and click Install. Now, Discord should automatically restart if it doesn't try restarting it manually, and if you go to your user settings and you scroll down, you should see this Vencord section. Now our first category of underrated plugins is called Features Discord Should Add. And the first plugin we're going to look at is No Blocked Messages. Now if you're talking on a Discord server and someone that you've blocked sends a message, you will see this one blocked message, which is really annoying and curiosity will kill you and you will check to see what they say. But if you enable the No Blocked Messages plugin and every single time you enable a plugin you will have to restart your Discord, if that person sends a message, it does not exist. Unless of course someone replies to it. But still, blocking people on Discord is just kind of like really broken. Well, this is a good temporary fix until Discord understands what block actually means. Now, the next plugin I'm going to look at is extremely useful if you're someone like me that has way too many pings on Discord. And this plugin is called Read All Notifications button. Now, when you enable this plugin, you will now get this shiny new button that says Read All. And you'll notice I have all these pings and stuff. I press on Read All and kaboom, everything is gone. I don't have to just live in pain for the rest of my life. Now, this next plugin, Game Activity Toggle, is an absolute life saver for people that e-date on Discord. Imagine you're playing Fortnite with the boys and unfortunately your e-girl decides to go online. Now if she sees you playing Fortnite with the boys at this time of day, she's going to start yelling at you. And that's where Game Activity Toggle saves your rear end because it adds this button down here which allows you to disable your game activity. And you'll notice that I'm no longer playing a game. I've been spared this sacred day. Now if you didn't disable your game activity quick enough, you might have your e-girl decide to spam DM you which can be extremely annoying and extremely loud. And that's where notification notification volume comes in to save the day. Because with notification volume, once we enable it, we can change the volume of notifications. So right now, it sounds like that. If I turn it all the way down though, and click on save and close, Oh, it's so much quieter. I finally have internal peace. Now this next plugin is an absolute lifesaver. If you're trying to go through therapy on Discord and your e-girl keeps on sending you memes that you're forced to watch, well, with the picture in picture plugin, you can click toggle picture in picture, you'll be able to see the video while you browse the rest of Discord and understand that maybe you made some wrong life decisions at some point in your life like being born. Now the next category of underrated Vencord plugins that we're going to look at are based on making your Discord look like this. Now the first plugin we're going to look at is called Client Theme, and you can already see when I turn it on you get this nice beautiful dark color. Now you can change the color to whatever the heck you want, whether it be this light blue which is really hard to see, you can reset, you can pick something a little bit darker. This is so easy on my eyes, and I can also see the reflection of myself through the monitor and I look extremely disappointed and depressed. Wonderful. But here's the thing about this theme though. If you click on someone's Discord profile, like YJB, it is white. It is ruining my beautiful aesthetic. And that's where the plugin No Profile Themes comes into play. So if we enable this plugin, and of course, restart Discord every single time, then you will have your beautiful Discord. And if I click on YJB's Discord profile, oh, it matches my theme. Now, I do want to point out, though, that even with the theme, if you click on someone's profile, it's just a little too long. Specifically, this notes section, who uses this thing? And that's why you should enable the Better Notes Box plugin. Now, in the settings of this plugin, you can hide the Notes tab. So now, if we click on someone's profile, you can see there's no more Notes tab, and it's uh, just way more minimal. But there are still improvements that need to be made. These status indicators, they just don't look good. So to fix that, enable the Color Cited plugin, which will change the icons to this, which are just nice, beautiful circles unless someone is on their cellular, mobile, internet, phone device. Now, I absolutely hate my life because I use Discord all the time, so this next category of underrated Vencord plugins is going to focus on increasing your quality of life on Discord. And the first plugin, I absolutely love this thing, is called Message Tags. Now what this plugin allows you to do is create custom text macros. So you do slash tags create, you can create a name of a tag. So in this case, I'm optimizing my e-dating strategy by creating a tag which uh, is called hi. And if I do slash hi and I press enter, it will show you the full message. Hello, how are you doing, sweetheart? I hope your day is going well. I love you and miss you tons and tons. Now this next plugin, Message Click Actions, is perfect if you made the great 
grave mistake of becoming a Discord mod. Because if you look at the settings of this plugin, what it allows you to do is delete, edit, and reply to messages just by clicking on them and holding down a key. So instead of having to go to a message, right clicking it and clicking delete message, you can hold the backspace key and double click on a message and it will automatically delete it. And if you hold shift and double click on someone's message, you will automatically reply to it. And finally, if you hold shift and double click on your message, you can edit it as well. Now this next plugin, one ping per DM, is a lifesaver if you're stuck in a very abusive Discord e-relationship. What am I even saying? But again, if you're just trying to mind your own business and your e-girlfriend is randomly spamming you with a whole bunch of DMs, you will only get one ping sound. It's a blessing in disguise for my sanity. Now this next plugin, Reverse Image Search, is an absolute lifesaver if you do e-date on Discord for some random reason, but if you right-click on an image and you click Search Image with Google, you can see the exact matches to see if you're being catfished. In this case, it turns out I already was. Now this next plugin, Bigger Stream Preview, is an absolute gem if you're someone that lurks on Discord. Because if your friends are streaming something, you can just right-click on their profile and click View Stream Preview to get a bigger image of what they're streaming. And what this big stream preview shows me is that I should not join this voice channel. Now this next category of underrated Vencord plugins, I labeled as stupid. But to be honest, if you're not having fun on Discord, why are you even on Discord in the first place? The first plugin I'm talking about is Secret Ringtone Enabler. Because believe it or not, people will watch one-hour videos of rare Discord ringtones. I don't know why. Instead, you could do it yourself by enabling this plugin and getting someone to call you. All right, that, that's enough of that, I think. Now this next plugin is truly going to change Discord for the better. It's called Oniko. Oh God, I, I didn't pronounce it right at all. But you'll notice that my Discord, there's something that's coming across my screen. In fact, it's just a cat. Yeah, it's a cat that follows your mouse cursor. But this final plugin of this category is actually revolutionary. It's called VC Narrator. Now this is supposed to be used for people with accessibility issues. So if someone joins your Discord, you'll hear who joins. No text to speech joined. This is the part I like the most though. You can change change what they say. And let me tell you, with a little bit of creativity, your join messages could be a little something like this. No text-to-speech brought his big booty into this VC. No text-to-speech left just like my dad. No text-to-speech is antisocial or being harassed by their parents. The possibilities are endless. Now the next category of underrated Vencord plugins focus on Spotify and specifically the Spotify embed thing that you see here. Now, normally, if you get one of these, you already know that you need to plug your ears because when you click on play, this thing is so loud I can't even hear myself. And that's where the plugin Fix Spotify Embed saves your ears, because if you enable the plugin and go to your settings, you can actually change the volume of this stinking thing. Anything above 10% is very loud, by the way, but it should sound a little like this. But let's say you're one of those people that don't pay for Spotify because you, your parents pay for Apple Music because they don't know how to use the internet or something. Well, you can use the plugin Spotify Crack to make it where Discord will think you actually have Spotify Premium. And it does a whole bunch of things, but just turn this thing on if you don't have Spotify Premium. Now, this next plugin, Spotify Controls, is actually great because every single time I'm on Discord, I have to switch between Spotify and Discord. It's a huge headache. But if you enable this plugin, you now get these controls down here, which allow you to play music, go to the next song, go to your previous song. It's great. Now, finally, this this last Spotify focused plugin is called Open in App. And what it allows you to do is when you click on a Spotify embed link, it actually opens up the Spotify app. And the nice thing about this plugin is that it also applies to Steam and Epic Games links. Now this final category of underrated Vencord plugins is basically aimed at the Turbo Discord nerds or degenerates like myself. And these are plugins that I use all the time. The first one is the Experiments plugin. When you enable this plugin and you restart Discord, then you should have this Experiments tab which allows you to look at experiments. Half of them usually don't work, so don't use this and think you can hack and get Discord beta features. Now this next plugin I absolutely love, it's called Valid User. Now I deal with a lot of user IDs, whether I'm investigating someone or trying to figure out who someone is, and when you send a user ID or someone mentions someone that you don't know, it ends up like this, which is completely useless. Oh, what's that? Enable Valid User, restart Discord, and kabooyah baby, hover over the name and it's Pokimane? Oh my god! Now that was all of the underrated Vencord plugins that I like to use. Now, if you want more mainstream plugins that everyone should use, like Message Logger and Free Nitro, I highly recommend you checking out the Making Discord Better video that's on your screen right now. Click on it, okay? Bye-bye. I love you. Mwah.